you know, being number one in the country, going to the Orange Bowl, and having all those wins the last couple of years, where, where do you find the motivation this year when, when you start two and five? Well, I mean, we've, you know, unfortunately, we've had three really tough games, mm-hmm. really tough, hard to swallow <clears throat> games. So we know, been the story all year, we know what we're capable of. You know, we know that, you know, we're not a terrible team. You know, we're, we've played well with some really good teams, and some other teams have happened to play really well against us as well. So, I mean, you know, a lot, there's a lot of things to play for. I mean, you play for each other. Um, I think when adversity hits, you kind of you kind of pull closer as a family because um, it's what you have to lean on. You know, a lot of times fans don't give you praise anymore. You know, the outside looking in, you kind of take a little heat, and um, it's kind of tough on the players. So I think it it really brings everybody together closer, and we just kind of lean on each other for support, and it kind of bonds, brings us closer, I think. You've, you've won a lot of games. You've lost games. I mean, do you think – the middle aspect of like making your own luck and, the, and those types of things, do you think that's something or sometimes there's just bad luck involved? You know what I mean? Do you think it's like learning how to win? Like people talk, well, this team just doesn't know how to win. Is is that overblown or does stuff just happen? I mean, Well, I mean, if you take if you change three plays the other way and the other team makes a mistake, I mean, we're, we're sitting here and, you know, having an interview about, hey, we're doing pretty good and, you know, looking forward to, you know, having a good finish and getting the bowl game, you know. So, I mean – I mean, yeah, I guess you could say it's a little bit luck. I mean, but, you know, not really because, I mean, you got to go out and make that one extra play those games. So, I mean, it's on us. Um, we're taking responsibility for that. You know, some of our young guys are taking responsibility, saying, hey, we got to learn. we got to grow. Um, we got to learn to make that one more play. Um, at the end of the game, middle game, whatever it is, uh, just where we don't get put in those situations. Is the mood different any right now? I mean, is, it, is practice kind of drudgery at this point, or is anything different at this point as far as the mood? No. You know, the coaches and players have really responded well, I think. I mean, everybody's out here working really hard. You know, we're, we want to win. Um, you know, we've, we've tasted it, and it's, it's tough when you get these kind of, you know, two games back-to-back like that that are really tough and hard to swallow. And, and I'm really proud of the team and how they've bounced back and, and just after a couple of days already out here grinding really hard and, and working hard for each other. After two games like that, how good is it to get back home this week? Yes, definitely. Um, you know, every time you have, you know, tough games like that, you want to get back on the field and you want to get out there and play again. And um, That's the good thing about football is you always have a chance each week to kind of play a better game and um, you know, a chance to earn a victory. So. How have you seen DeAndre Ward kind of improve throughout your career here and, and obviously his career? Yeah, Dre, he started as a walk-on, and he's a guy that earned a scholarship, you know, through his hard work, and he is a hard worker. And um, that's one thing. He he loves the game. You know, he, he's one of the best teammates you could ask for. He really loves his teammates. Um, you know, I'd do anything for him. He'd do anything for me for sure. Um, you know, he's a great brother. Um, you know, and he's really, really improved. He's, he's gotten much, much better, and, um, you know, his play shows that. What's, what's it like playing for Sermon? It seems like you and him would have a decent amount in common, you know, that you yeah. kind of see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. What have you thought of him now that it's been through, you know, most of the season? Yeah, we, we do have a lot in common. I mean, our life stories are pretty similar. I mean, he he got married in college as well, and he kind of had a similar situation to me. And, you know, our personalities get along well. He kind of understands <clears throat> where I'm sitting and kind of the, the struggles and the issues I'm dealing with. And um, so, yeah, we do. We get along well. And, um you know, I, I, I do appreciate him a lot. And he's one of the best coaches I've ever had. So, but he likes to joke you have a better academic record than he has. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to. You know, <laughs> it's tough, but it's, yeah. it seems like a lot of defensive coaches. I mean, I'm not saying they're not smart, but they're really raw, you know, intense. But Sermon kind of has a little more of a cerebral side. Is that fair, or is it just a practice? He's different than he is standing here. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, he, he can. He can turn on the emotion. I mean, he's a he's an ex linebacker in the NFL. I mean, sure. you don't get the, you don't get the accomplishments that he's had. You know, just um, being a slouch or you know, not a good leader or um, you know, or not aggressive. So, I mean, he knows he understands a good balance of things, and I think that's one thing that makes him such a good coach. Is he's just you know, he's very well balanced. He knows how to coach guys. He knows how to relate to them. Um, you know, he doesn't look at anybody better than anybody when he coaches them. He coaches everybody equally, and that's something I appreciate about him.